Hi guys, it's Kiwi Swimming here and welcome back to my channel for another apartment build um, or apartment renovation. I don't really know what you want to call it. Um, right off the bat, I know I say this a lot, but I just want to throw out a super quick disclaimer. It's so windy and I know I say this all the time because it is always windy, but like literally it sounds like it's about to shatter my freaking window. It is so heavy today. It's gusting right now. There's like a 95% chance you are going to hear it at some point. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it but I need to film so bad. I'm so behind on my schedule. Anyway, hi. <laughs> Today I'm filming an apartment that is actually pretty exciting. This is in the Landgrab building, I think. Yes, it's in the high, oh my God, what, what is this district called? The like really expensive one. The, the like, I don't know what it's called. It's totally left me, but the, the good area of San Marcino. It's, yeah, one of the more expensive part apartments. Um, This is... I, it's in the land grab building. Okay, it's that one. Um, yeah, I was super intimidated by this apartment actually because uh, it is quite a bit bigger than the other apartments that I have done. Well, actually, this one in particular wasn't so bad. The other land grab apartment, on the other hand, is kind of really intimidating, but I really want to furnish an apartment in there, so I mean, that's probably coming soon. I don't know. But the purpose with me doing this apartment is I wanted to. Okay, if you watch my City Living LP, you probably may know, if you pay attention to it, I guess, <laughs> that um, Shelby's aspiration, like part of her aspiration is she wants to live in an apartment that's worth like 100,000 simoleons. So that's what I was trying to build in like today, or not today, I built this like a week ago. But like, that's what I was going for with this. So yep, it's expensive. I did hit the 100,000 mark easily and yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna get Shelby into this because she doesn't actually make as much money. Oh, uh, if it was Erica. Okay, listen. Erica makes so much freaking money. She would probably be able to live in this within like two episodes. But Shelby doesn't make as much money as her and I don't know how long it's gonna take to get into this apartment. But uh, I mean, I'm still, I still love it either way. I actually, okay, I really like this apartment. It's kind of got the little lofty vibe once again, but also kind of not. I don't really know. It's a two-story apartment and yep, I just, I had so much fun renovating this. This was so relaxing. Like, oh, I can't even explain to you how much fun I have just working on apartments. Even though my channel, I get bored of apartments because like, if you are, sorry, but like, they're so fun. <laughs> I can't stop myself from doing them. Anyway, God, okay. Also, speaking of the noise, I mean, in the background, the wind, the wind. Um, soon, wind might not even be an issue because, um, I asked on Twitter, um, if you can't already tell, my microphone's kind of turning to shit, so I'm planning on upgrading this pretty soon, and I asked, uh, I asked on Twitter if people would go, like, if I should get the Blue Yeti or the Rode Podcaster, and someone, I think it was Lauren, or it's Law Pause, however you want to refer to her, uh, told me that the Blue Yeti, she wouldn't recommend because it's good for like it picks up a lot of background noise but the road podcaster doesn't and so like i watched a bunch of like reviews and stuff on the road podcaster and there was this one review where the guy like wanted to demonstrate the background noise that it kind of like managed to cancel out and so he was like banging on a keyboard um while he was speaking and you could barely hear it like there was maybe a slight like little tap but you could barely hear it and it's like oh my god this is the microphone that I need I live in the windiest city in the freaking world literally the world I googled it and someone told me it's in the world um like I, I just I need that I need something that cancels out all the background noise so I'm so excited to get that I don't know when I'm gonna buy it I don't know if you know this but I get so much anxiety spending money okay like I, I just I stress out about spending money even though I have enough like <laughs> I have enough in my savings for this microphone, but I will still stress to death and like be super anxious about spending money because I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm weird like that. I, I get anxious spending $5 at work for my lunch, you know? <laughs> I'm so weird with money, but I mean, obviously it's turned out okay because I mean, my bank account's looking pretty good. I'm just going to say that. Uh, yeah, I'm like an avid saver and it's because I'm too scared to spend money. <laughs> oh God. But, oh my God, listen. I got promoted at work, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, if I didn't, hi, I got promoted, finally. I'm finally oh, being acknowledged for my hard work. Um, it kind of sucks because now on a Monday and a Thursday I work nights instead of days. Well, actually, I didn't even work Thursdays before. Look, I dropped Thursdays and then my manager gave it back to me. It's like, 
I dropped Thursdays for a reason, dude. I don't want to work them. But I mean, like, it's a promotion, so I'm not going to argue with it. Um, yeah. So I do work two nights. Um, actually, no, I work three nights now, which is kind of dumb. But, like, money. Money, 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 money. And plus, I have a better title in my job now. So, like, when I try to get out of this place, <laughs> it'll be probably easier to get out because I have a better title. So, yeah, that's something a little bit exciting. Oh, my God, the wind is so bad. I Okay. I was sleeping sla sleeping soundly. I was sleeping soundly this morning and guess what woke me up? I honestly thought the glass had shattered. It's just, it's so strong. It's like a battering against the, like, oh. Uh. I'm pretty sure by the end of the day, my window is gonna be cracked <laughs> because of the wind. It's that intense. But I'm gonna stop talking about the wind because it's not very interesting. Um, okay, this apartment, you may notice that it has kind of a similar theme to like the elegant apartment that I did for the Kingston Apartments build. It has a similar theme to the, what was it called? Riverside Rebuild? It's got, yeah, it's just got the super elegant theme. I used a lot of vintage glamour stuff, but like, okay. Vintage glamour stuff. I am obsessed with that stuff pack, which is so weird because like when it came out, I was kind of like, oh, okay. That's a new stuff pack. It's, it looks okay, but I'm probably not going to buy it. And yeah, I bought it <laughs> and I'm obsessed with it. It's, oh. Probably one of my favorites, which is, yeah, ugh, it's just so weird because that's so normally not my style. I don't normally use like elegantish furniture, but no, I'm obsessed with this pack. And the marble coffee table is to die for. The vanities are amazing and just, yes, I need to breathe. I'm like about to hiccup. I can feel it. <laughs> ah, okay. But yeah. Oh, I forgot to like talk about how many bedrooms it has. Um, It only has two bedrooms and the little weird octagonal, like, twisted not quite octagonal that just that weird shape <laughs> that's a study because um well actually I totally forgot that Erica's an art critic I thought she was in the social media career for some reason so I was like I'll build an office just for Erica to do her social media stuff and then when I was finished with it and like taking screenshots I was like hold the fun er uh Shelby's not in the social media career Erica is Ugh. anyway I don't know my own characters but that's fine who needs to Oh my god, I just, I'm such, I'm a, why do you watch me? I'm a tragic let's player, let's be real. But no, I mean, it's, it's good to have an office anyway. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has to like write columns and stuff anyway. So, it's still kind of cool to have an office, I guess. <laughs> oh, help. Um, can you have social media profiles if you're not in the social media career? Because like, I could just have her have a bunch of followers anyway. And she could still do social media -y stuff. She just won't get paid for it. No, I feel like you can't. Can you? Can you have a social media profile? I don't know. I'm going to have to go into the game and explore that myself because I'm super intrigued. But no, I do have a feeling that you can't. Because like that just wouldn't really... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to stop rambling on about it and just look it up later. But yeah, this is the little office. It's um such a weird shape, I know. <laughs> but I, I just... I don't know. I, I like it. It's so strange, but I do like it. I think it's very nice. Um, The view... And the background is beautiful. Oh my god. Actually, the views in this apartment in general are just freaking stunning. And this has the lot trait. Great views, I'm pretty sure. It also has a serviced trait. So, I don't know if, like, it's a butler service. No, it can't be a butler service. They came with vintage glamour stuff. It must just be a maid. So, yeah. There's a maid in this apartment. <laughs> I don't think they need an additional bedroom. But there are two bedrooms, um, anyway. Obviously, I didn't furnish a bedroom for Jaden because I'm pretty sure by the time Shelby has enough money to move into this apartment, Jaden will be, like, all grown up and he won't even be living at home anymore. And, yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like the, yeah. To be honest, I don't even know if Shelby's ever going to get to live in this apartment. <laughs> it's so expensive. It's like, I think it's like 117,000 simoleons by the time I'm finished with it, which I think we have maybe 10,000 in our bank account at the moment. I don't know, maybe I'll cheat them in. No, uh, let's be real, I'm going to cheat them in at some point. <laughs> it's like with te uh, Teen Pregnancy Story, yeah. I said I wasn't going to cheat with the money, I was going to wait until they genuinely had enough money to get into the new house and then I just totally cheated it. <laughs> I miss Teen Pregnancy Story, by the way. Um, what I think it's been like... Oh, it's been a couple of weeks since I recorded it now and it just feels so weird for it to be gone, but... I'm having so much fun with Legacy Challenge. I think that only just went up yesterday. The first part went up yesterday, I think, if I have my schedule correct, which, let's be real, I probably don't. 
Maybe it went up two days ago. I honestly have no idea. <laughs> it went up at some point though. So, hey. Legacy Challenge. Go check it out. I'm having so much fun with it. I just, oh. I knew I loved uh, the Legacy Challenge in The Sims 3. And so, obviously, I was going to love it in The Sims 4. It's so much fun. I just, oh. Get, earning money. I, I love starting from scratch. I don't know why. It was... I think that was the same reason I loved the Big Sister Challenge as well, which is still on hold, sadly. Um, yeah, I just, I can't play The Sims 3 at the moment. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Yeah, I keep getting asked daily. I'm just, no, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about The Sims 3 ever again. Um, but yeah, so that's why I love the Big Sister Challenge so much and making money. I don't know why. <laughs> I cheat money in some games, but in games where I have to go from scratch and make my own money, I have so much fun. I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of weird. But yeah, uh, uh, I'm so bad at it though because like, I don't know how to garden, I don't know how to do anything like that. I'm just, I'm such a Sims 4 noob, but it's fine because <laughs> who needs to know about the game that they're playing? No one. You can just watch me struggle and I feel like I'm going to be one of those people that just really piss off my viewers because like, I feel like you guys are just going to be sitting there and you guys are just going to be like, oh my god, you need to do this. It's right there. It's right there. You're so close, so freaking close, but you're just not getting it. Yeah, so just a little heads up. If you haven't watched the Legacy Challenge yet, it's probably going to be a lot of that. <laughs> I'm probably going to annoy you quite a bit, but I mean, it's fine so long as I'm having fun, right? But yeah, we're working on the bedroom, by the way. This would be Shelby and Connor's bedroom. Um, it's so freaking big. It's got a fireplace. It's got a massive TV. So, I mean, I would personally kill to live in a room like this, but um, yep, that's never going to happen. <laughs> We just don't, I don't think we have apartments like this in Wellington. I just, yeah, we do have some pretty nice ones, but I feel like we don't have two level apartments. Or maybe I'm just not looking properly. No, I, I don't think we do. I mean, I, sometimes I look on places that are like renting apartments and stuff just to see what they look like on the inside. And I don't think I've seen a two story apartment. So yeah, up your game, Wellington. <laughs> Let's be fancier, but oh my god, I, this apartment in general I would absolutely freaking love to live in. It's so freaking pretty. How many times did I say freaking in that past second second sentence? I actually think it was only twice, so yeah, <laughs> jokes on me. Uh, this is a guest bedroom. It's not really, okay, it doesn't suit Jaden. That's why I, I'm saying that they're probably not going to move in here until Jaden ages up. Yep, hopefully they're not because <laughs> I don't think Jaden's going to like that room very much, but I mean, even if he does move in with them he can get over it basically but we're working on the bathroom right now which is nothing overly exciting um I don't know why this bathroom I mean why this bedroom has an ensuite and not the master bedroom kind of makes more sense to have the master bedroom have an ensuite but I mean <laughs> I like to do things differently I'm a complicated person but yeah we are just about finished and are jumping into some screenshots I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up this is up on the gallery as a two-part download so it's kind of awkward but yeah, my origin ID is Kiwi Swimming, and of course, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!